This play explores the harsh reality of rape and its consequences on female relationships. It addresses uh, such uh, issues as um, social justice versus natural justice. Joe, hey Joe, it's me. Oh, how you doing? Joe in? There's no Joe here. He said he'd be in. No Joe lives here. Oh. You always just walk into people's houses. Sorry, excuse me. I'm very sorry. That's okay. You have a nice day. You too. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You live here. Good guess. What? Joe, move out. Joe who? Joe. I forget. There never was any Joe here. It's all one house or apartments. All one house. He said he had a room here. Apparently, he lied. Yeah, him or somebody else. Brad on formed about two and a half years ago. Um, we've enjoyed a, a good bit of success with the one act festivals and we decided this year we're gonna go for it and go for the three acts. Um, uh, we, we, we rely on goodwill from the local community, from um, local businesses such as Thomas Hannigan's um, for rehearsal space and as you can see we're actually in the GA club at the moment there's a party going on next door and we still have to rehearse here so it's it, it's a bit of a disaster in North Kildare we've we've three very strong groups and um, Selbridge, Maynooth, Kilcock and ourselves and we don't have any rehearsal space and we don't have a, a theatre obviously to put on our work. I'm sorry you have to go. Can I use your phone please? No I'm sorry. It's a local call. No you have to go. You ride a bike? No, I use it to collect dust. There's the door. I know where the door is. You don't have to tell me where the door is. <laughs> this is a real bitch. This guy Joe owes me a lot of money. He said to come here and pick it up. Well, there's no Joe here. Are you sure, sweetheart? Maybe my husband knows. He's upstairs. Well, why don't you ask him, babe? He's busy right now. Busy? Sleeping. Sleeping? He's a cop. No kidding. And I have to wake him up in five minutes for work. Shh! You might wake him up. You better go now. Hey, cop, babe. Why don't you ask him? Does he know a guy named Joe? I told you, he's sleeping. I dropped Joe off at this house last week. I think you have the wrong house. No. This house. He's about 6'2". Rides a Harley, red beard, cowboy boots. <laughs> Short guy. There's no guy here. Except for the cop. Honey, could you come down here, please? Well, despite the fact that uh, we don't have a rehearsal space or a performance venue, uh, we've made it to Athlone on our first attempt, and we're delighted to be there. Uh, and who knows? Why can't you help me? I don't know what happened here, and I don't care. You're alive, so what's it matter? Just get him out of this house! What's up with you broads? Look, cherry cheesecake. Did someone die in the soaps or something? Okay, what's the joke? Come on, come on, you guys. I'm not falling for this one. Who's he? He, he tried to rape Marjorie. Oh, dear. Uh, are you okay? I think so. Are you? Yes. How'd he get like that? I did it. You? Yes. Uh, alone? Yes. And you're okay? Yes. When? Before. An hour. Two. I don't know. Where's the police? Did you call? No. Why not? I'm gonna fix him. Fix? Fix. Please. Don't let her torture me no more. Shut the fuck up! What are you doing? I want him to hurt like me. Please help me. Help me! I want him to hurt like me. It looks like you've done that. Now we have to put him away. I have no proof. He said he'll come back and slash up my face. The, the fact that he's on the premises should put him away. Is that true? Honest. Honest. We'll take care of everything. 
You just relax now and, and, and lie down. He, here, here's a nice pillow. No! Okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. <laughs> 